TotalTeamRoping.com. and he never seen the feet before he was throwing and it's kind of just like taking a sound shot and that's the last thing you want to do right there is get in where you cannot see what you're throwing at or what you're trying to time especially when you're a lower number of four five or six if you can make yourself stay off of them just a little bit just where you can see your target it will become much easier for you and on his horse really didn't set down that good so he had to hold his slack up now on this one what happens here is the steer really doesn't leave the corner very good. He kind of dies out underneath him. But so things aren't going that fast, but you can watch whenever whenever he ropes this steer right here, he's going to when he throws it down, his horse is going to be stopped right here and the steer's leaving him. See, that's as high as his hand comes right there. Now he just comes back to the here from the view up top how how much to the left I was. I was probably two or three feet outside that left horn and it just made the whole run set up easy. So if y'all can do that right there, just really always try to stay to the left of the steer and read your cattle and don't let one beat get over in front of you. TotalTeamRoping.com